Hello guys, Cyberdrain here. Welcome to part 5 of Reddit Deku Head the Omnitrix. Now, you might be wondering, as I did say in my recent community post, about the three what ifs we have planned on releasing. I'll be giving that about a few days before we actually plan on recording one of them. And if you guys didn't see the listing, it is the first option is what if Deku had the Berserk armor, which is one of my more personal favorites. What if Deku was Pride, which is an alright series. I'll admit that I do like that one too. But you guys might be burned out from Full Metal Alchemist for a bit, so I won't blame you. And what if Deku had Overhaul? Another great one. But now, we will also be recording Agnologia sooner or later. Not today, but, you know. Still need to let my gums heal for my wisdom teeth uh, surgery. So, let's begin. With this part, with Deku lying on his bed. Thinking about all he has been told. About the plumbers, the watch. The fact that he got a new alien form. And he's just lying on the bed, staring at the watch. I have to unlock more transformations. But how did I do it the first time? I did it by complete accident. Hmm. First, I might need to remember all what happened when I got that new guy. I was... Defending Sue and Mineta, and I just hit the watch hoping that I could protect them. But if that's ha that's the cause, how come I didn't do the next exam for the zero pointer? He ponders this for a while, then he finally got an idea. Oh, how bad? How come I didn't think about this sooner? As he's dialing up the watch, he hits down for gray matter. But, of course, he's in his gallon form, hoping that the added brain power can help him think. He, he starts to ponder, he ponders if he can give, uh, in the face, in the, He starts to think. Hmm. Facing in game in aliens that most a most able to the th uh, the situation as no alien I could have matched mo no most strength. Humongous or yes. So. Possibly Humongousaur, but I could not have dialed him. Hmm. But the main question is, how can I unlock more aliens? As Deku's messing around with math equations and the no more than normal, he can't do other than in his Galvan form. Sure. And this be when he learns he can hit when in frustration he just hits the watch in his back when he learns he can switch in between forms or save the on power. Oh no way. Hmm. Maybe if I as he hits the watch, then he get turned back into you. Wow! I didn't think I could change back and forms already. Beep, beep, beep. Huh? But I was. I still had a little bit more time. Huh. Maybe it drains faster if I change it to a new form? Hmm. 
Okay, well, let's head back to the beach so I can see what this new alien can do, at least. So, Deku does head back to Dagar Beach, transforming into Gravitrack and training with him. Learning that he can control any surface of gravity, including doing other stuff. As he's walking back into class, he spots Ida and Umuaka talking. Huh? Hey, Deku! Uh, not Deku, but Izuku! Huh? Hey, Umaka, what are you guys talking about? Just the U.S. J attack, now that I think of it. I think I saw your new alien transformation as we bust in. Oh, yeah, I unlock, kind of unlocked the new form to make... I unlocked it to make sure Sue and Mineta was safe. That's so cool, Izuku! Indeed, that is. Did you just name it yet, or...? Uh, no, not yet. I'm not really creative enough when it comes to this. <laughs> as he's rubbing the back of his head. And a bit of awkward as he's not used to it. Hmm, well, those gravity attacks were pretty cool. Hmm. So. <laughs> you gonna try to take my thing now, Izuku? Uh, no, never, Muraka. I would never try to outshine you... Like that, I'll be honest. Oh, I'm only joking, but hey, how does how about the name Gravitax sound? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good, cool name for him. I agree. After that, Azara comes in with both on bandage up. Good morning, class. Mr. Azara, are you sure you should be in school? My injuries on keeping me from doing my job but all of you have another battle to face apologies sir as Ida sits down yes well the UA sports festival is is just around the corner so I hope you will be prepared for that as everyone erupts and cheers tell Azara tells him to quiet down which everyone does tell Kiyoshima stands up but, sir, should we still have the sports festival? Considering what happened at the USJ? Don't worry, we have... We upped the security from previous years. Y'all will have two weeks to train. Sir, and here or outside of UA. Now y'all are dismissed. At the class, and one decided to train together, with Deku offering to show Dagoba Beach. While most do accept, others do not. Those being Momo, Todoroki, and Bakugo. Now, it's obvious why Bakugo and Todoroki didn't agree, but Momo, if you guys remember in canon, she didn't, doesn't want to give out any secrets about her quirk. Or strategies before the U.S. Sports Festival. So, and she has yet to actually open up to them. But as Deku and his group said, that formed, he is that was again Mina, Kirishima, Kaminari, Umaraka, Ida, and him. That is his group, if you guys remember from the last few parts. As they are walking to lunch. Hey, kiddo. Uh, oh, hey, Grandpa. You mind if you join me for lunch? Um, yes, but I'll bring my home lunch. Ha, <laughs> Okay, kiddo. Uh, see you guys later. Uh, as he waves off his friends. His friends go off to lunch without him. Deku, after getting his... His... Food... Follows Max to a private room. So, you excited for the UA Sports Festival? Uh, yeah, Grandpa. I've been thinking about this... Thinking of new ways to use my transformations. That's good. You know, after the sports festival, the internships will be up, right? So, uh, uh yeah, Grandpa, that's... Right, but why are you mentioning this now? 
Well, I'll be sending you an offer to, on behalf of the plumbers. Uh, really, Grandpa? Yeah, but you could also go with a different agency if you want. Well, I guess it depends on who sends the offer that I get. Oh, you will get more than your old grandpa in that pile of offers. If they see the same amount of potential I see in you all the time. Uh, thanks, Grandpa. As Deku looks at the current bowl in front of Max. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's my favorite. Huh. Mealworm stew. Want a bite? Uh, no thanks, Grandpa. I'm good. As Grandpa Max put the spoon in his mouth. You're lost. My only left word. My only last would have been my lunch if I took a bite. So after that, Class 1A, who agreed, met at Dagobah Beach. But for the last few days, they decided to split up to work on some their own secrets. And Deku managed to unlock a brand new alien before the big day. I'm not going to say which one, because I want you guys, see, you will guys see after that I tell you the description. But now it is the big day, as everyone in the lock room getting changed. Todoroki goes off to Deku. Midoriya. Oh, um, Todoroki. Midoriya, I think out of everyone here in the class, you and me are the m most vi uh, versatile and strongest out of anyone here. And that's why I will beat you. Um, I'll take that as a compliment, and I hope we can have a friendly competition. I don't think you understand, Midoriya. Only one of us will win. I will only win with my eyesight, nothing else. That is all I want to say. As Todoroki was about to walk away, and I'll use all my strength. Sir, so you better too, Todoroki. As Todoroki looks at the curly haired boy, a green haired boy behind him, then Bakugo jumps into the fray. You dare extra! How dare you think Deku is stronger than me? And you don't have the damn right to declare shit! Only I do! And you, Deku, I don't know where this power of yours came from, but I'll beat the shit out of you. Everything I got. As Kirishima steps in to calm down the situation. Okay, okay, I, let's calm down everyone. So, I want to challenge you all too, but... So, we should probably calm down. Tch. Whatever. It's shitty hair. Will, 1A, please come out now. As they all start to step out. As they all hear the roar of the crowd, the, to, they all see 1A. And 1A gets to their spot. As this part of the canon won't change, Midnight stepped up on the stage calling for Bakugo to give the speech, which Bakugo basically gave the same speech, pissing off everyone around him. And I know I keep forgetting this, but the one but people of who wanted to see 1A did, and nothing really eventful changed from that either. But now they're starting to obstacle race. Deku is is styling up his guy. Well, I haven't used you too much practice, but as he gets to the alien he wants, as Midnight says, "Go." Deku is already the one who's first out. As whoa. And bursting into the lead is Izuku Midoriya. As I said, yeah, it seems that he unlocked a new form in the two weeks. As 
Todoroki does freeze everyone else in canon. And when he's already at the zero point, Deku is already way too far ahead for him. They all had a day of chances to break out. So, whoa, what is that new form of his? It looks so weird. And how is he moving that fast? As... So, hmm. And, wait, is that wheels on his feet? Yep, it is Accelerate. With the lead I have, I should be... Fine, as long as I don't switch. But when Deku sees the older robots, he in his path. Uh oh, it looks like Izuku has reached the obstacles. The first obstacle was the robots from the exam. Hmm, guess I have no choice. As Deku presses the watch on his chest and turns to cannon bolt. Using the speed from Accelerate to smash right through them and keep rolling. <sighs> I guess I have to continue like this or else I'll run up my energy faster. What an impressive display from Izuku Midoriya! Yeah, it seems like he's learned how to change forms with already. And he took his training very seriously. As Todoroki reaches the robot, he does freeze the zero pointer, as in canon. As Deku reaches the zero pointer, with, uh, not the zero pointer, but with the rope portion of the place, stopping before he continued. He already had the accelerate speed, but they increased significantly since ever he smashed through all those robots. Sorry, on. As he stopped in front of the zoo. As he stopped in front of the rope, he hits the button again. And getting, um, I should have lost my place. Sorry, guys. As I could get to the rope, okay? The, the, as he stopped. Okay, I have to think. I got about two minutes about. So, he hits the watch again in his cannonball form, transforming into his pirate sapien form, aka Heat Blast. As he rockets off across the rope course. As Tony got there, he sees what Deku did. And gets some flashbacks to Endeavor as he's flying. As Deku got across, he hit, he times out and when he was about to land. Oh, okay, well, I... Uh, ow, ow, ow. As he's rolling on his back. Uh, okay. Well, I can still make it with, like this. As he's running. So, Todoroki got out of his trance and starts to do the thing with the ropes. As Deku did pretty good doing the leap, but as he's getting closer, Todoroki blocks his path with some ice. Oh, what the? Ooh, and Todoroki took the lead! As Todoroki zips by and continues to run. Oh no, I need to get... I need to keep going. As Todoroki reaches the minefield, he is careful to not set them off. And Deku is the same. But eventually the others came in and 
Bakugo blasts past Deku and goes straight for Todoroki, which leads him into the fight. But as Deku is halfway through, the watch beeps again, and he frantically hits the watch again, getting accelerate and blasting past both of them, with him tying this time with Todoroki. And it's a tie! As Bakugo comes in third, Deku hits the watch again, preserving power and turning back to normal. Alright, I tied with Todoroki. Todoroki just stares at Bakugo, at uh, him. But after the others come by, Umaraka still gets her 16th place. Which she runs up to Deku while breathing heavily. Hizuku! That was... That was amazing! Since when did you unlock a speed guy and switch forms? Uh, well, I've been pre training pretty hard this few weeks. Yeah, I can tell, but... I want to try to come up with a new name for your new form. Um... Maybe after the sports festival? Okay then, I'll come up with names in case though. So after the race is done... Mid... Wait, no. Alright, since we got two people tied for first, we'll be splitting up the 10 million points. And you will have to choose your own cavalry battle partners. So... Everyone starts to choose a team, but Deku walks up to Umaraka this time. Uh, hey, Zuku. Look, I see Umaraka walks up to Deku. Hey, Uma hey, Zuku, you want to form a team? Uh, really? Yeah, it's good to form teams with people you know. But do you have a plan? Um, well, I think I could use Grab Attack to keep others away from us. Uh, that sounds good, but do we need anyone else? Well, we shouldn't, but we could get someone else who can grab points from long range. Okay, and, uh, Izuku? Who's that? Huh? As he looks at where Umaraka is pointing at, which was at the watch, to see May pro- Uh, prodding the watch. Ah! Uh, careful! It's delicate technology! As he pulls his arm away. You gotta let me see it! I've never seen anything like it before! No, uh, as Deku keeps it uh, what, mo away, mostly out of fear. Ah, oh, fine, but let me join your team, person in first place who, uh, person who tied in first place. I have a lot of these, us I have usually, I have a lot of these useful stuff, and I, s you can even use them to win the cavalry race. Um, I'm Izuku, firstly, and, well, are you okay with that, Umaraka? Um, I guess so. Yeah, there's really no point for May to join, but we, I figured we can keep it to canon. They tried to get Saro, but ended up with just deciding with Tokoyami. Actually, I'm, uh, never mind. So, what did you say? Um, sorry, but it's, um, no. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can find someone else. As she goes off, she gets, well, requests from Shinzo, which she doesn't exactly agree, but, you know. So, who else? Hmm. Well, I have someone else in mind. So, they did try to get Sarah to the team, but Sarah already joined Bakugo. So, they go and Todoroki Tokoyami instead. And they have their plan. The both of them would go on to Deku's back whenever he's in grab attack. Umaraka would be horse for the time being.
So, hmm, I see. You have come over with a good plan, plan Medoya. Uh, I think it's pretty great. Oh, can we get Ida as well? Or do we need to get Ida? Mm, no, we have everyone we need. So, they, so, now they get ready. Umuhaka is right there, while to Koyami and Deku is our horse. And the event is in 10 minutes. So, and of course, there was always the plan that if he doesn't get the alien he needs, they will have to improvise. But they're hoping for grab attack. Okay, everyone, ready? In three, two, one. Everyone rushes at Deku and Todoroki's team. Midoriya, no! Right, as Deku hits the watch, getting the guy he wants. Oh, right, hang on, guys. As Deku turns into a ball, pushing away anyone away from them who isn't Umaraka or Tokoyami, while Tokoyami uses Dark Shadow to grab headbands. So, since ever they couldn't get to Deku, they all decided to run at Todoroki. Which Todoroki also tried to get at Deku, but pushed them away too. Though he should have the plan to get other hand bands, and since no other team could reach him, no one can really. So after the. So afterwards, Deku actually got, team got first place. Todoroki got second, and Bakugo got third, while Shinzo got third. Fourth. And only one person really be real replaced in a sense. As the watch turns out. Huh, <sighs> that was easier. But I didn't but if I mistransform it could have been wait it could have been bad. Yes, but we didn't. Yeah, you got to look at the positives too. Uh yeah, you guys are right. I guess it's just a habit of mine to overthink things. So after the them telling us the one v one and Ojiro quitting, so someone else will take the place. And since it was the one B student was technically replaced by May for this timeline, so they still have the same people with Ibarra and so. And uh, Tetsu Tetsu still joining. I don't see a point in anyone else considering why. And of course, Todoroki pulls Deku aside to talk to him about his past. Which, not much really changed for that purpose. So, other than Todoroki requesting Deku to use his heat blast form to show him that he can beat anyone, which Deku was filled insulted, but he has a plan for Todoroki. So now it's time for the first battle of the of the UA Sports Festival. Shinzo vs. Deku. As Deku steps up into the ring, Deku just has a plan to use Accelerate to push Shinzo out fast. As the match about to begin, so, you're Izuku Midoriya, the boy with the multiple quirk, the boy with the multiple quirk user. As Deku doesn't do anything and is about to activate the army tricks, hmm. <laughs> That damn monkey told you about my quirk, didn't he? When can he shut up and learn not to tell others about other secrets? As Deku clenches his fist and said about pressing the watch, huh, I guess it's a damn stupid. I guess it's stupid of that damn monkey to give up his spot in the U.S. Sports Festival. As Deku finally snaps, don't you talk about? Gotcha. 
Now, walk out of the ring and lose. As Deku was already in trance and starts to walk out. But. But Deku. But as he is, the watch is acting up. As he stops dead in his track. Still hypnotized, might I add. And reaches for his watch. Dialing up something and slamming it down. Enveloped by a green glow and light. What the? As he turns into a ghostly looking figure with one eye. He turns into Ghost Freak. As he turns around slightly laughing. <laughs> now that's a new trick. <laughs> So, you managed to get out of my court. Perfect, so what? That doesn't matter. So, anyways, wanna see my magic trick? Huh? Oh, what's wrong? As he turns invisible and moves around. Never seen a ghost? <laughs> Where did you go? As he felt a tap on his shoulder, when he turns around, you see Deku. With him opening up his skin, showing... So, like, giving him... Most likely giving him trauma, too. As Shenzo falls on the ground, twitching, and he... Ever so slightly, from the pure shock and fear of what he just saw. What's wrong? Don't like my trick? <laughs> Izuku Midoriya, you won! Stop this! As Deku snaps out of it and still his ghost freak form. Whoa! What happened? As Deku looks down, did, did I do this? As Deku hits the watch on his chest, turning back to himself, a little freaked out. And and some are confused of what just happened with the personality change they just saw too. They've seen it before in Wrath, but never in another alien like Ghost Freak. But also in the new form he just unlocked. But they have to worry about that later. As he gets back to the stands with one eye, his contract gives him a look of concern. With Kirishima first talking. Zubro, what was that? Then Aumaraka. Yeah, what did you... When did you unlock that guy? And why did you act like that? Um, it was a new guy. And it's like Wrath, I don't think. I was... I have much control over him myself when I'm like that. Yeah, but it's he's kind of scary. Everyone ignores an agreement with Umaraka. It's like a freaky ghost. Hey, why not just call him Ghost Freak then? Uh, well, it's accurate. <laughs> so, the rest of the sports festival continues. Not much changes. Umaraka still loses and Deku comes to her. While Kirishima does the tiebreaker. As, as it's now time for Todoroki vs. Deku, Umaraka said, I'm sorry, you, you had to spend all this time with me and to, instead of playing for Todoroki. No, Umaraka, I already have a plan with Todoroki, but I would have left you behind like this. It wouldn't be that great of a f move of a friend to do, right? Uh, right. Now, to now they get up to the stands. As they're both facing each other down. Alright, are you all ready? Get set? End. 
cliffhanger. We will save the battle for the next part, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. So, see you guys later.